Hey, so today we're gonna disassemble DJI Mavic Mini. Um, I don't know because it's like it looks like quite easy to be disassembled, just a couple of Phillips screws, and DJI actually give you a tool to do this. I mean, actually, of course, you should not do this yourself. I'm like professional, so I'm, I'm gonna do it. And I'm also in like perfect location for doing this. Like behind me is like one airplane, second, third, and like yeah. So I'm like in airplane mechanic shop uh, in Akaflik Berlin. And yeah, let's get started. We're gonna try to disassemble it using the Phillips screw that they give us uh, with in the back. And um, yeah, first thing I'll like mark the propellers which one goes where because you should never like if this propeller is here you should never put this one on any other um, motor or mount except except for here this is just like a rule in aviation you should always know about so yeah I'm gonna remove the propeller remove the battery and then here underneath we can see like four screws and we're gonna um, remove them and see what is inside. When disassembling the propellers, propeller always must be labeled so this blade will always go on this screw. This is very important because the propeller get in tuned with the motor during some during the time and this motor like this pair of propellers and motor work in sync and you should never replace them otherwise you will get a lot of vibrations destroying the motor prematurely which happens like quite often with those with uh, DJI motors like I just label one two three four if you can see there is like small writing on the motor on this side so this side of propeller is a little bit black and this one is just like normal one that's just why I'm using it this way so I will definitely not mix the propellers up because this would be like that of the whole aircraft of course not 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 now like because it may only make a couple of flights but if you do like in a season after a couple of hundred hours then yeah it will definitely destroy it be careful all of the propellers are removed with the screw that they uh, provide so now it looks like this without any props One thing to notice is that the, that the um, screw is mounted on with a Loctite. If you remove it a couple of times, this Loctite would pour out and um, it would be good to apply some new one after you like remove it a couple of times, let's say 5-10 times, uh, because of the vibration and everything that's going on in the motor. Um, screw can come loose and you can lose a prop mid-air. Okay. <clears throat> I remove the battery put this aside I want to disassemble the battery because we know what is inside inside are two 18650 batteries with some electronical stuff that regulates it now I'm gonna unscrew these four four screw and we will see if it will go apart four screws removed now <clears throat> let's try to open the cover As you can see I can just like put it apart with my fingernails but I'll try to use some plastic tools for doing this because I don't want to use metal to damage it because uh, I still want to have it like working afterwards. I don't find quite have any cool parts but I'll just try to use those plastic zip ties. They're like quite hard and I think they work. You we'll see. Yeah, slowly getting there pulling the top plastic apart there are like quite a lot of hinges inside I think like one two three four big ones unfortunately I already broke one but of course everything is fixable so just some epox and this will be good as new and I saw that you can like um, 
undo those plastic hinges from the inside if you can see them and now let's leave the cover carefully and we are inside so as we see on the top this is electronic speed controller 4 in 1 for each of the motor we can see three phases going to the motor um, also on this arm you can see like small antenna going to the front two antenna section on the top is GPS mounted on the like shock mounts so it's it's not shocking unfortunately I cannot remove it completely because the it's glue the connector is glued together also like the like this this is like um, three phases are soldered together formation cable is also like glued together here are ma main contacts and on the contact screw there is like a small um, small like rubber rubber shock mount on it so when you push the battery in it's like nicely pushed together so it does not damage the connector electronics or the batteries that's really nicely done here I see ground and 3.6 volts maybe this can be useful if you want to put some LED lights in front or like on the sides and like one micro switch to be more visible during the night time which I think is like a good idea to Next is to remove the bottom cover, it's quite easy just two screws and couple of hinges and comes just right off. Underneath it it's a heat sink. Heat sink is just a thin sheet of metal that is uh, curved so it is bigger surface area. And after removing it with just uh, three screws, just slowly lift it up. Be careful not to damage anything underneath it. Underneath it is also um, the heat transfer sealant. And you can see how it is like woven curved, so it is just cooled by airflow with and without any um, cooling, other cooling system. In front is computing area, second one is a receiving area, cameras and infrared sensors and then at the bottom like power electronics for maintaining constant voltage. Ok, now it's time to assemble it back together. Carefully screwing everything back in its place. Putting the cover back on, it looks quite fancy with those air vents. I think they look quite efficient. And just pressing it back together until it clicks. Two screws that holds the bottom plate in. And 
and then putting on the top cover screwing it together and we're finished Now as you can see everything work, works, gimbal works, transmission works, you can see the video in our workshop and now let's do the test, test flight. I'll do the first launch from my hand to see how it, go, it goes, just press the button and he will take off. It's already recording. <laughs> you can see how to press the button and then release it and when you release it it will pick up then it gives me the warning because I'm coming to the city mm -hmm. And then for the landing the same, make a big surface area for your hand so you can see it. Go down and then catch it just as... And then just catch it. Thanks for watching, I hope you like this video. Be, uh, I hope you like this video, check also my other videos, they are quite cool. And yeah, see you again next time. But you need to subscribe, give me a like and put some comments, questions, suggestions down below.